Hi everybody and welcome to Oscar Outdoors. Join me in this one as I go through the Nightcore TUP. Okay, welcome back everybody. So as in a little intro, today we're going to be going through this. This is the Nightcore TUP. Uh, I picked this up uh, for its accessibility in clipping to things for work, basically. So the molly clip or the pocket clip on the back comes in really handy for whilst I'm out and about at work. Uh, I have done a review on the Nightcore T4K, which is what I'd class this as the little brother, is the TUP is the little brother. T4K is the big brother. Um, so it's not quite as expensive as the T4K um, so this, this is like a budget friendly version of that light uh, so what we'll do is we'll go through what's in the box we'll go through some of the features and then we'll go play outside okay, so let's go through what we get inside the box itself so we'll just pour it all out hopefully yeah. it's everything out of the box so the first thing I've seen is this this is like a, the metal keyring That'll attach to the bottom of the unit via the little metal clip that's on the bottom there. Very sort of handy for clipping in and out of a, a set of keys or something if that's where you want to keep this light. So that's that. And then you've got the instruction manual. Probably written in numerous different languages. Going through all the specifications and materials used to make it. And then this is, I'm assuming, is your warranty card. Yeah, I'm not very good at reading Chinese, I'm afraid. Okay, and then this is just a little bit of advertising, more models whilst they're in there. Okay, and then you get the unit itself. As you can see, it's probably just a little bit shorter than my index finger, but it's got some really, really cool features. This is the pocket clip on the back that I was telling you about before. You see it's metal in design and it's quite sturdy. It's got a good snap back as well. Okay, let's go through the specs and features. All right, so let's go through some of the features that are listed in the instruction manual. So it says it's a revolutionary intelligent pocket light. It utilizes a Cree XPL HD V6 LED with a maximum output of 1000 lumens. The maximum beam intensity of 8130 candela rating and the maximum throw of 180 meters. It utilizes a total reflective optic lens for uniform and soft light. Multifunction OLED real time display for lumens, battery voltage, and runtime, etc. It's got a built-in uh, 1200 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. Advanced power cutoff APC technology for an ultra low parasitic built-in lithium ion battery charging uh, circuit with a micro USB port. High efficiency constant circuit. High efficiency constant circuit provides stable output for 70 hours. Two user modes available, so a demo mode and a daily mode. The dual side switch design. Uh, five brightness levels available with direct access to turbo. Two lockout modes available, half locked mode and full locked mode. The incorporated advanced temperature rep regulation uh, module. Metal ring pull able to withstand up to 30 kilograms of weight. And a hard anodized type 3 finish. Impact resistance of 1 meters. So the specifications of it are it's 70.3 millimeters by 29.5 millimeters by 26.2 millimeters or 2.77 inch by 1.16 by 1.03 including the clip. The weight is 53.2 
grams are 1.88 ounce okay so now we've got all the specs and things out of the way let's have a little play so looking at it you can see it's quite a sleek design and we've got this sort of protective cover straight over the LED screen which we'll remove now just so that it makes it a lot clearer once you've got something on the little LCD to display okay two button operation as we said so we've got the power button and then the mode switching mode so the brightness intensity okay and then the little clip on the back again we've done a little bit of a talk about this already but I really do like this little clip okay so to operate turn it on and then you can see there comes up telling you the level and that is in daily mode you can read that in the top right hand corner daily up in the top right hand corner to switch that out I think you press and hold both and it's going to demo mode now so demo mode is basically once you've operated it we've got the light on now once you've operated it if you don't touch it for around about 30 seconds it will just close off and there we go about 30 seconds roughly okay so we'll switch it back into daily mode and then we'll cycle through some of the modes for you so we'll turn it on looks in there it does your lumens and then obviously the activation on there so 65 200 and then one lumen so 75 hours runtime it's telling you 15 lumens at 20 hours 65 lumens at 10 hours and 200 lumens at 3 hours and 10 minutes so to get into turbo I think you press and hold and then it operates at 1000 lumens that tells you it's got a run time of 25 minutes as soon as you let go it does step back down to the 200 lumens so yeah that's basically it let's uh, get outside and have a play right welcome outside everyone so I'll come outside now to do some outdoor beam shots with this this is the night court TUP uh, so yeah let's get straight to it so to activate it just press the little button at the bottom there and it comes on and you can see there that it's in cycling through all the lumens starting at one now one is never in there uh, we're at the location that I've come to see it and I can see what it's lighting up across the way but you can't clearly uh, so we'll just cycle to the next one so this is 15 lumens is your next one Now again, camera's not doing it justice, so we'll go and film in a different location, I think. And then 65 lumens. Now 65 lumens you can pick up on the camera there. It's doing a fairly good job. Again, don't do it justice. And then 200 lumens. So 200 lumens is a significant difference on camera. But to me, it is quite prominent. Okay, and then the thousand lumens, this is a big one. There you go, the thousand lumens from there. So what I'll do is I'll try and get a little bit closer in and show you the intensity of the, the beams from this side. Okay, so I've come a lot closer, as you can probably tell on camera. Uh, I'm now within five metres of this wall instead of the, the 15 that I usually am. Uh, so we'll activate it in one lumen. You can see the hot spot on camera there lighting up quite easily we'll cycle through it 15 lumens again five meter distance here just from this, this wall it does look like i'm a lot closer actually from the angle doesn't it <laughs> but look seriously <laughs> and then 65 lumen again you can see the hot spot working its way around oh and then finally 200 lumens The hotspot's too intense at this distance. You see there? But the flood, if you look at the flood, so you've got the hotspot here in the centre and the flood sort of coming out to about there. The flood is uh, good, but on the naked eye, it just lights up perfectly. Okay, and then thousand lumens. Again, significant pop. Great hotspot and great intensity. 
Okay, so we're just outside still and we're just going to start on one lumen. Just show you a little bit around. Change up to 15 lumens. You can see again, I'm about 15 to 20 meters away from the wall that's across there. Okay, significant pop again. Let's have a look. 65 lumen. You're starting to see a lot more of the features there, aren't you? And then this is your 200 lumen. Really lights up quite a significant area, obviously. The further back you are, lights it up quite intensely. Okay, and then the 1000 lumens. Let's have a look at the pop. You can see that it is quite a high intensity, bright white light right in the centre there. Right, let's finish off. Okay, so yeah, we'll just go through some uh, sort of afterthoughts on this Nightcore TUP. Um, I'm really quite impressed with it. It's really going to do a good job for me. Um, I work for the ambulance service and this sort of light will come in handy. I'll clip it on my epaulets, on my shoulders, on the pockets, you know, all kinds of things. Even on my bag while I'm at work. I do use a, a molly bag while I'm at work as well. Uh, but yeah, for the price, it's absolutely a steal. Compared to its uh, big brother, the T4K, it's about half the price, but nowhere near half the quality. It's really, really is handy. Again, you've seen it on camera, the thousand lumens. But this is sort of in the other way, the intensity there that you can see. So I do apologize about that, but yeah, it is a really, really good little light and obviously size of your finger. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this video and it's helped you make your mind up, please give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know what you thought about it. And if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel by pressing this in the middle. I'll see you in the next one.